It's wrestling time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're gonna even look at the Figma number 386. It's Masahiro Chono, one of the legends, one of the legit tough guys of Japanese wrestling. This is a figure, I don't really know, it's one of these weird things. I love wrestling, but Figma. Figma, 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 just doing a one-off again. We're not getting a line, we're not getting a New Japan line or whatever. They just kind of released Chono a while ago and that was it. And that's why I kind of was wondering about it, should I get it, should I not get it. But when the price is right, you get yourself a Chono. And that's basically what happened. So now, let's have a look at it was worth my money. I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting too much, but this is pretty good. I mean, Figma doesn't have the greatest track record when it comes to making realistic looking figures. I mean, look at their Bruce Lee's and Michael Jackson's. I don't have these figures because they're garbage. But Chono over here has a more chance, I guess. He stands at about 16 centimeters, which means we're going up to 6.3 inches tall to the top of his head. Now, overall, look and detail. He does look a lot like um, Chono did around the 2000s, I want to say. I looked up some pictures. Uh, this is definitely like uh, a little bit more seasoned version, but not the old legend we have in the current day and age. The face looks a little bit weird. I mean, I like the shadows that kind of accentuate the, uh, the muscles and whatnot, but it also looks pretty weird compared to the rest because there's nothing on there. But still, it looks good. He has the glasses on. He cannot take the glasses off, which is just a gimmick. He had the Yakuza gimmick, so it fits. The body mode is accurate. He does have a bit of man boobs, but you know, Chono wasn't the most buff guy, wasn't the most ripped guy. So it does fit. Uh, the wideness and whatnot is okay. And also the arms has some muscle to it, but not over the top and that's good I feel like that's good that you're keeping it realistic that you're not trading trying to make like our oh, ultra muscles and and veins and whatnot when Chono didn't have that so I'm fine with that also which I didn't really mention the hair mode has some detail on it it's fine detail but overall it looks good I mean I like it then moving down to the pants have quite a bit of detail on there and I like that it's like a matte dark black and then the, uh, the stuff over here which whatever I call that the uh, the ornaments or whatever is a bit more shiny also it stands out it's not just painted on it is molded on so overall it gives the figure a great look down to his wrestling boots and if you're wondering I mean I've been comparing a lot recently but one thing is why I picked up Shono is was like Figma hasn't done any other wrestling characters, and I don't think they plan on doing any other wrestling characters. I guess Chono over here is just a way of Figma by honoring a legend, just like the uh, Storm Collectibles Jushin van der Liger. And just for comparison wise, yes, he does fit in with the SH Figure Arts line, which a lot of people didn't like because they were saying the wrestlers look too small. I can kind of re agree with it, but I also don't like the overly buff aesthetics of uh, some American releases. But anyway, yes, Chono does fit in pretty well with the SH Figures WWE line, which we didn't really have that many, but it's pretty cool. Now I feel like also the articulation is pretty similar. It's almost like the fighting body from Figma. Let me move back so don't run into my tripod all the time. The head moves back and forth, mostly back, forward, not so much, does tilt side to side, does go all the way around. Then you have neck articulation, is I think, yeah it is on a ball hinge, as you can tell, well this looks ugly, but it does give you some good articulation I guess, forward, and then pops right out of the socket. Nothing broken off, fortunately, but anyway, as such, I can't get it in right now, it does have a little bit of wiggle motion but it's not completely in there, is it? Anyway, I, I'll take care of that later. It's kind of hard to fiddle around with the camera. And then you got a ball joint in the chest area and another ball hinge on the elbow, on the shoulder itself, sorry. And that rotates nicely around because they left some room over there. It doesn't look too bad, but it does, you know, leave a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a flappy part up here. Then you rotate it all the way around bring it forward back and goes up very nicely. It doesn't have a bicep swivel, simple ball hinge in the elbow that is also 
bit too big, guys. It, it looks okay over here, but just standing out over there, it, it is weird. Then again, on the ball, hinge in the fist, back, forward, rotation, chest area. Moves forward very nicely. It doesn't really move that much to the back because of how it's molded. Obviously, you have a big, big kind of curve in the front. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It looks like this is iced. <laughs> then also moves to the side, has some very good rotation on it and does also tilt side to side. Now the torso area have some more wriggle room over there, does tilt side to side, goes forward quite a bit, goes to the back also nicely. It is kind of loose but once you get it into position it will stand and it will stay and also you can rotate over here pretty much all the way around and then the legs move forward move out to the side, move to the back. The crotch piece is soft plastic, also there's a cut on the side over here, so it will bend out of the way when you're trying to go for some higher kicks. Got some good range of that, also rotation, and the knees on a simple ball hinge, and the foot got on a ball hinge forward, back, and does tilt side to side quite nicely, I might add. So the weirdest thing about the accessories is the hands which are packed in like this and I will show them to you in the packaging because it will be very annoying to fiddle around with all these small hands. So you got like the uh, pointing thumb or thumbs up, thumbs down or more like pointing at himself. Then you got um, open hands to hold the microphone and then you got pointy fingers and then you got more grabby hands, open, you know, wrestling hands and chop hands. So everything you really need for a wrestler I feel like. Good selection, also big selection. Then you got the open mouth yelling face. Also looks great. Actually, this one looks better. I don't know. There's not, there's not so many black weird lines on the face, I guess. Probably gonna use that. Goes well with the microphone, which is very, very small. Tiny microphone. Has a good amount of detail, I guess, like the little button over here. That's pretty cool. Other than that, it doesn't have a logo on it or anything. I mean, this is not like a New Japan line or whatever. This is just a single Masaru Chono. Then you got his arms, different arms to switch around. Also just have a ball hinge in there. So that goes up like that, just for the record. And you got your regular ball hinge in the front for your hands. So you got some extra ball hinges, yay. And the coat to complete the Yakuza look that he was running with. That he started when uh, around the time he started also being the leader of the NWO Japan. Good times. Very nicely molded, has some detail on it. Also, the art artists. Don't know what that means to be honest, so uh, feel free to let me know. It, is, it was also painted on the box, so yeah, I don't know what that means, but anyway, there you go. And finally, as usual with your Figmas, you got your base and your back with all the Figmas. And it's gonna do it, it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts for this Masahiro Chono figure from uh, Figma. And uh, yeah, Figma has a really bad track record when it comes to making realistic characters. And uh, Chono over here, he got, he got spat by that curse. I mean, it might have something to do with him wearing sunglasses, because to be fair, some parts of the face look a little bit rough, especially like all the black lines that go around it. But the mold of it is pretty good overall and the detail on it is also nice and it looks like Chona. That's the most important part of it. The coat is amazing, really love it, uh, even though it's kind of weird like you have some spots, the empty spots over there, but not really much you can do about this. If you drape too much plastic over it, it will hinder the articulation. The articulation also, by the way, it is fun. He's really fun to pose. Uh, it is mostly regular Figma stuff, but they left just the right amount of room for the shoulders and whatnot to make it work, and yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say, and honestly, like I'm saying, it's a big surprise, and it will fit very nicely next to my SH Figma as wrestling type characters, but unfortunately, we didn't get anything else from Figma as far as wrestling goes, so he kind of is a bit lonely. Figma, do some more wrestlers. I, I would buy them, because this one's pretty nice. So, as such, I will recommend this guy, and it's gonna do it. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Masahiro Chono wants to get your candy ass in the ring so I can beat it. Just like in Japanese, and then didn't do promo like that. <laughs>